Hello friend, and welcome to Zuzukorn's complete guide to obtaining the Terrorblade. The Terrorblade is a really strong melee weapon. It shoots a green beam of energy that can pierce and hit up to 3 enemies. Its high base damage coupled with the projectile attack makes it an insane powerhouse, especially before Plantera. But well, the Terrorblade might be confusing to get, especially if you don't know where to start. That's why I'm here to help you out. So to begin, to craft the Terrorblade, you basically only need to merge a true Excalibur and a true Knight's Edge at a Mithril or Orihalcum Anvil. Now you might be thinking, but Zuzu, how do I get these? Well, let's go over them step by step. To get the true Excalibur, you have to combine an Excalibur and a Broken Hero Sword. You can get an Excalibur by crafting it with Hollowed Bars. Hollowed Bars drop from any of the three mechanical bosses. The Destroyer, Skeletron Prime, or the Twins. These bosses start spawning after you defeat the Wall of Flesh, and can be summoned using their respective summoning items. Check out the wiki link in the description for more details. Mothron is a relatively tough enemy who spawns during solar eclipses, only after you have defeated all three mechanical bosses though. Solar eclipses have a 5% chance of occurring every single day. They can also be summoned using the solar tablet, which is obtained from the jungle temple after you defeat Plantera. Mothron is a difficult enemy that flies around, dashing at you occasionally. It also lays baby Mothron eggs, which will hatch after some time, overwhelming you with more enemies to deal with. I recommend using a strong weapon like the Mega Shark, or something like the Amarok with a yo-yo bag equipped. Mothron has a 25% chance of dropping a broken hero sword, so cross your fingers and hope for the best. It's quite a rare drop. Next, let's talk about the True Knight's Edge. Similarly, a True Knight's Edge is crafted with the Broken Hero Sword and the Knight's Edge. This means that you need a total of two Broken Hero Swords from Mothron. The Knight's Edge is a bit more difficult and confusing to craft because it is actually made of four different swords merged together. Firstly, you will need a Blade of Grass. This weapon is crafted using 12 jungle spores and 12 stingers. Jungle spores spawn randomly in the jungle. Fortunately, they glow and are easy to spot. To get them, just attack or mine them. Stingers can be obtained from spiked jungle slimes and hornets. Stingers also have a fairly high drop rate, so don't worry about that too. So now, craft the blade of grass using these materials. Congratulations, the first sword is obtained. Next, we will need a Fiery Greatsword. To get one, it's pretty easy. These only require 20 Hellstone Bars, which are crafted using Hellstone and Obsidian. If you are new to the game and are unsure how to get Hellstone, check out this video that I made previously. So once you craft a Fiery Greatsword, congratulations, the second sword is now obtained. Next, we will need a Muramasa. A Muramasa is obtained from the dungeon chest. These are gold chests found in the dungeon that require golden keys to open. Golden keys are obtained from wooden chests in the dungeon, or drop from dungeon enemies at a low chance. However, if you spot a dungeon slime, the keys will drop from them at a 100% rate. So with the Muramasa found, the third sword has been obtained. Lastly, you will need a Light Bane, or a Blood Butcherer, depending on whether your world has corruption or Crimson. You simply need 10 Demonites or Crimtain Ore, which are dropped by the Eye of Cthulhu and the Eater of Worlds or Brain of Cthulhu respectively. With the 4 swords in your inventory, head over to a Demon or Crimson Altar and craft the Knight's Edge. Combine the Knight's Edge with a Broken Hero Sword for the true Knight's Edge. Now finally, combine the two true swords into the Terrorblade, the Legendary Sword of Terraria. Congratulations! Upon your first craft of the Terrorblade, you get a nice little achievement too. So to recap, craft an Excalibur using hollowed bars from the mechanical bosses. Craft the Knight's Edge at a Demon Altar using the Blade of Grass, made from jungle spores and stingers. The Muramasa from the dungeon. The Fiery Greatsword made from Hellstone Bars. And the Knight's Edge or Blood Butcherer using Demonite or Crimtain Ore respectively. Combine each of the swords with a Broken Hero Sword from Mothron, 
who spawns in solar eclipses after all three mechanical bosses are defeated. And finally, combine the true Excalibur and true Knight's nice Edge at the Mithril or Orihalcum Anvil to create the Terrorblade. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you, especially if you're new to the game or unsure how to craft the Terrorblade, the legendary sword of Terraria. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more Terraria guides and other gameplay. Well, this has been Suzukorin Games, by casuals for casuals. Have a nice day and have a great week ahead. Bye bye.